it was built in 1989. I think it was used uh, quite a bit more than anybody expected. It was, it was the first indoor pool in, in the city of London. Uh, back, so then in 1999, uh, we put the addition on for the 2001 Summer Games. And now in, in 2014, we're doing this energy retrofit to the building as well. We have a life cycle maintenance plan for all of our facilities. So we know based on past experience, the lifespan of, of our mechanical systems. The majority of our systems are original. We can't get parts for them anymore. And we knew that they were coming to the end of uh, what would be their uh, natural life. We've known that this is going to occur and we plan five to 10 years out for all of our facilities. Uh, the city is a good customer of ours. We've worked with the city for almost eight years now on a variety of different projects uh, of various different uh, sizes. This is the largest single project that we've done with the city and uh, they've taken a number of proactive steps to uh, manage their energy and uh, as a result of our partnership we've, we've helped them uh, through that process. First of all, we'll have a new front desk to welcome them that will be accessible, meaning uh, we'll be better able to serve all of our users, whether they be small children or seniors or people with disabilities. New tile out throughout, a fresh modern paint, new acoustic treatments, which will be brighter. And for the men, a brand new change room. I think that those are the things that they're really going to notice. Many of the technologies that we're implementing are high efficiency or new technologies which will help the city to generally better utilize the energy within the building. Overall, uh, we're anticipating a 41% reduction in energy usage and a 42% uh, reduction in greenhouse gas emissions. So we anticipate that this is the equivalent of planting 34,000 trees or removing 78 cars from the road. So uh, we're expecting to have a fairly significant impact. One of the most interesting uh, elements that we're, uh, that we're implementing in the facility is uh, what's called a combined heat and power system. The components of the combined heat and power plant are used not only to generate electricity but also to generate uh, heat for the pool, uh, for general building heat, and in some instances we'll be using it to also heat the uh, domestic hot water for showers and hand washing. Uh, we anticipate that that measure alone will uh, will net the city a, an operational cost savings of, of approximately $25,000 a year. Amoresco has a lot of experience in energy management and that their commitment with the city has been ongoing for a number of years. Um, they've done a number of projects at different facilities that look at, uh, at life cycle renewal but also energy conservation. And I think that that is certainly the, um, the primary benefit that they bring. We have a commitment to Londoners to maintain our facilities in fresh, modern, um, and safe, sustainable uh, manners. And I think that this renovation and, and facility upgrade will do exactly that.